What is this newspaper, chiefly about war matters by a peaceable man? Huh. It's the Atlantic Monthly Magazine. Okay, so this was the article that Nathaniel Hawthorne was commissioned to write by War Secretary Stanton. Uh, what do you want? Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote an article, right? The traitor! He tried to make a fool of President Lincoln in the Union. He'll be the fool who pays in full. I saw Union officers in chains. They call a witch hunt, but I will see to it that anyone disloyal to the Union is locked away and stripped of their possessions. President Pierce kept a diary. And no doubt implicated me in some type of conspiracy. I'm a simple man who only serves to protect our sacred interests. What say you, President Lincoln? It disappoints me that Hawthorne did not take his assignment seriously. He wrote in a common voice and could have used his talent to speak out against slavery. Make an example of this fool writer. I want him embarrassed. I want him embarrassed before he breathes his last. On the battlefield, men lose their mental faculties by exposure to lead rounds. Your Hawthorne shall be another such casualty of war. Bad hand? You're a bad man. Okay, well. Strange little scene about Hawthorne being murdered by uh, Secretary Stanton and his assassin, Bad Hand. This hidden objects challenge gives us a law book. A book on legal ethics. Huh. I would have thought Judge Hawthorne never used it. Ooh. So the law book goes here. Bingo, giving me some keys, and, uh, what's this? So, as Colonel Pynchon said, he likes using the horse because it goes in an L shape. So, one, two, three, this must be four. So it's gonna go here to five, so it can land on six next turn. Five, six, so let's see, seven here, so it can land eight next turn. And let's see, eight's gonna do nine. So it's going to go 9 to 10 to 11 to 12. And now everything is really, really simple. There's not enough space in the board <laughs> for you to make more than one move. We have found the ill-gotten silver that Judge Hawthorne hoarded. That cleans out what he stole. And let's see, can I... Can I look at... Whoa! Keep rubbing elbows with the president or his staff. These are just the strangest divisions. What are they trying to say? I don't know. Interesting that the judge held the jailer keys in such a place of value. I should re review my notes. What did my notes say? I'm going to jail. Okay, let's go to jail. In case you couldn't tell, the jailer keys mean we're going to jail. Okay, let's let's save some people from the jail. Do not free these witches or traitors who show kindness to our enemies! <laughs> he died with blood in his throat. The curse got him. And here's another piece of silver. Thank you, my mother kept this key at her house. Thanks, Dorothy. I'll go back to your mother's house. Let's see what this key unlocks. Oh, it probably unlocks her two, uh, things. Here we go. More silver and a domino. The domino in these chests belong to the game player, Colonel Pinchian. What else may Hawthorne's alter ego be hiding? So that's the last domino for this puzzle. Goes like that. this. Ooh, let me get that, let me get that, uh, raven. And we have more silver. Excellent. I've got the silver the guy took, this guy took, that started the whole mess. Oh! Blood in his 
throat. Okay, well, we get warped back here. Let's 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 put the silver back in place and bring an end to everything. Notice we've got the sign of bad hand there. Hmm. Okay, so we put all the silver back. The wounds I inflicted on your friend with my talons are healed. The sins of his forefathers are resolved. gets to live with her daughter. They get to live happily ever after while Judge Hawthorne does not. He'll be forever remembered as an evil villain who murdered a bunch of innocent women. Well, that's the end of our story going back to the present day. Nathaniel no longer has chains. The wrongs done by linea my lineage are being resolved in the spirit world. I can feel the healing in my spirit is recharging. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, Nate. All the same, I think I'm gonna write that Bad Hand did it in my version of the story. And we've got a bunch of achievements for beating the game. So, that's it. That's it for Midnight Mysteries, Salem Witch Trials, a game by John Newcomer. What are my thoughts about this game? I thought it was an okay game. It kind of lost me at the point where it brought in the Nathaniel Hawthorne books, which I have never read. Uh, the House of Seven Gables. Because... The game was kind of treating it like that story was real, but it wasn't at the same time. That's what sort of confused me. The game seemed to want to have it both ways. Like, Colonel Pynchon was a fake person, and yet he stole real gold. So I, I didn't exactly follow that. But uh, other than that, I, I thought the game was pretty interesting. Seeing the story of the Salem Witch Trials. <laughs> really strange. Nathaniel Hawthorne murdered by uh, Abraham Lincoln's Secretary of War simply because he didn't like what Hawthorne wrote in an article. Special thanks to all these people. Sarah's buried beneath the grave, tis a raven egg on Easter board. Approach the tombstone and be brave. A rodent shift exposes what we have sworn. What on earth? Is... I... Is that like a... A clue that if you click on that grave in the game, it does something? Yeah, that's kind of a weird note to finish the game on, huh? Strange! Anyway, thanks for watching my video walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it, everybody.